Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and today I'm just doing a quick uh, tutorial guide update video letting you guys know what the updates are on the guides, what to expect in the coming weeks um, and uh, just give you some information about what's been going on with the channel. There are chapters down in the description below so if there's a specific section that you guys are interested in please feel free to skip ahead uh, to the guide that interests you or the information that you're actually looking for. Um, first thing I do want to do is apologize to everyone. I had made a post on my Patreon letting all my Patreon subscribers know that the first week of the month is when I would be releasing my guides. Um, unfortunately, go figure, as soon as I do that, um, literally my entire family got sick. We got wiped out. The kids uh, had a nasty stomach bug. We wound up in the hospital. It just, the works. Um, it was a very, very rough ride uh, the first couple weeks, and then work took over after that. And then you guys, who, anyone who has kids knows exactly what I'm talking about. You, you spend the next week and a half just catching up from all the mayhem. Um, and it just set everything back. And so I do want to apologize to all of you guys. Um, I don't want you to think that I take your subscriptions uh, for granted. They mean a ton to me, and it brings a ton of support to this channel and allows me to do things that I wouldn't normally be able to do in regard to this channel. Um, it really gives me, you know, you guys don't understand both the so Patreon subscribers, YouTube subscribers, all my viewers. Um, you guys don't know how much that affects us as a YouTube content creator. Um, it really makes so much of the things that we do possible um, outside of the normal spectrum. So um, anyway, just want to say a quick I'm sorry and, and a thank you to those who are sticking with me. And I love you guys to death. I truly do. Um, so now let's get on to the guides. So this first section that we're going to talk about here today is just going to be about what are they. So for those of you who are unaware of Overkill's tutorial guides, I have technically four of them. Two of them are wrapped up into the same guide, and I have three independent guides. Um, we have the A320 guide, the TBM 930 guide, but the TBM 930 guide also doubles up as a G3000 guide. It's extremely detailed, um, and we'll sort of take a pre preview of it here in just a minute. Uh, same thing with the uh, A320. Now, and then I have a G1000 guide, and then again, there's another aircraft guide currently in development, which hopefully the first rendition will be out in the first week of May. Um, so, um, what are they? So, these guides are extremely detailed. Everything you need, if we start but just by taking a look at the A320, um, they are full, fully chaptered table of contents, you name it, a full walkthrough of how to do a flight, for example, here in the A320. Starts out with a cockpit tour, then gets into the systems, weights and balances, flight planning, the MCDU, EFB, landing, we have RNAV, we have missed approaches, we have ILS, you name it. Everything you need to fly this plane is in this guide. Um, and I am constantly updating it as um, uh, new development comes out. I am using the A320 by Flyby Wire as my um, model for this particular, and it walks you through this guide, walks you through how to install it and all that. If you guys aren't unfamiliar with it, it is a full flight, cold and dark, um, from Tucson, Arizona, over to Los Angeles International, cold and dark. Um, but even walks you through how to set it up for a turnaround state if you wish. Um, so, uh, again, very, very detailed. Um, I'm constantly updating it. I think it's at 154 pages of, of data at the moment. Um, one of the other pieces of information that's also in it is the um, SimBrief profile for the A320 by FlybyWire. So that way when you create your flight plans in SimBrief, um, you have that information. It's actually modeled after the FlybyWire A320. Um, same thing with the TBM 930. The TBM 930 guide, as I said, um, full cockpit tour. This one's from Salt Lake City over to Denver, Colorado. But we get into the G3000 as well. So this is very handy as it will walk you through any aircraft for the G3000 or 5000 suite. The 5000 suite, uh, for example, that's found in a Cessna Citation X <coughs> guide. Um, you know, not sure what that was about. Uh, but uh, the similarities are, if you can use the G3000, you can get your way around the G5000. Um, but there are plenty of aircraft that use the G3000 suite. Um, obviously, this one in particular is modeled off the TBM 930. It's probably my favorite aircraft. So, But again, we get into the same thing. Flight plan creation, lineup, taxi, descent, RNAV, ILS, VOR navigation, um, you know, all the way down to cold and dark shutdown over in Denver. Um, some of the... Um, things that are coming to the G1000 guide. I can bring that over for a second, but it's uh, still being edited is why it's not coming out today. I'm hoping by uh, first thing tomorrow morning, maybe the day after, 
this week's gonna be a little crazy for me and for the channel because we have our flooring being replaced in the house uh, just another thing added to the list here um, but uh, again a full breakdown of the G1000 so any of your general aviation aircraft that use the G1000 you're curious how to do things with it this is a very handy guide to have um, again a ton of hours and time was put into it I mean I, I've done my best to just break things these things down at to the absolute beginner level and slowly increasing the difficulty of the procedure as you get more and more familiar with the aircraft or the suite i should say this is not aircraft specific that's the difference between this one the g1000 is the g1000 suite so there may be some minor differences in the way the avionics are set up from one aircraft to the other i think there's a couple different configurations you can do with the g1000 but uh subtle differences control movements maybe extra panels here here and there but the overall process is the same um, so real handy to have um, again I made all of these for my own benefit initially and decided to share them out with the community so now how do you get a hold of one of these guys let's talk about that so to get a hold of these guides you have two different methods you have one which is the PayPal method on all of my channels there's a link to my PayPal um, where you can send a donation of ten dollars or more and then email me at overkill simulations at gmail.com and let me know which guide you're looking for obviously if you just send me a donation i have no idea um, the other thing that i will say is make sure um, that your paypal email is a current email that you can actually receive contact from because if you do by chance forget to email me i do use that paypal contact and try to contact you and say hey got your donation thank you very much which guide are you looking for and there's been more than one occasion where i've gotten no reply and um you know i hear from someone a week later hey i gave you this donation it's like well i, I didn't know how to get a hold of you and i find that the email is completely different so please make sure that that's the case now, the way that I recommend, but obviously totally up to you guys, um, is through Patreon. Uh, there's also a link in every one of my videos to my Patreon site. Subscribing to Tier 2 or above, which again is the equivalent of $10 uh, US, um, will give you access to all three of my guides. Um, and any guides that are yet to come, hint, hint. Um, and there's actually a couple of guides that I am working on actually at the moment. One of them is nearing completion. The other one's just started. Um, so I've got a bunch of things that are coming down the pipeline for everybody. Um, so I'm hoping that you guys are going to really enjoy these. Um, but that is the way I recommend it because it's $10 a month versus playing $10 per guide. You get everything plus contact. Um, the PayPal link and the Patreon site, again, $10 or more, also gives you access to my Discord. Please feel free to reach out to me direct if, if, if you need anything. Um, I have no problem with that at all. Um, I always try to help when I can. Um, sometimes it takes me a little bit to respond, but I will get there. Um, so finally, let's talk about the updates that and change logs that are coming to these guides. Okay, so starting out with the A320, we have quite a bit of improvement here. First off, I've updated the installation procedures to uh, reflect their new installer from the new installer from Flyby Wire. Um, much much simpler to use. Um, we've also come down. Let's see here. We have added. You gotta bear with me for a minute. Um, the electronic flight bag, I've gone through everything that's currently available with the EFB. Obviously, as that continues to improve, I will continue to update it. Um, VOR navigation, everything from tracking the VOR centers to intercepting. This particular example was based on a missed approach. Um, one of the missed approach procedures for uh, KLAX is to um, navigate using a VOR out to another waypoint and then come back in. Um, and then we've added the MCDU progress page as well. Um, so quite a bit was added to this one. I feel like I'm f forgetting something, but honestly, I, I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, I'd have to go back and look. Um, I have everything written down on the Patreon site, but quite a bit. Um, again, a ton of hard work um, that I tried to put into this to keep this as detailed as possible. Um, you know, again, full screenshots, everything is drawn out. Um, feel free guys if you guys know something that's incorrect please let me know um, I take no offense to that I want these to be as accurate as possible especially since I'm asking for financial gain from it right um, I, I don't want to say you guys something that's wrong um, that was the other thing I do want to touch on real quick with the uh, uh, purchase if you do like for example the PayPal link uh, please be sure to keep your links handy um, I do not expect people to pay for it every single time 
Um, so once you get access to one of my guides, you have access to it uh, forever. Um, Patreon members, same thing. Um, I know the guides are on the Patreon site itself. If you decide to leave Patreon, anything like that, please just shoot me a message. Hey, can I get a uh, continuing link for this uh, so that way you can continue to get those updates. Um, on the TBM side of things, again, we have VOR navigation, uh, manual entry, flight plan entry, using a VOR to land the aircraft um, with full approach plates. Everything's drawn out. And that's the other thing about these guys is, um, as well as our nav approaches, we also added that into this particular guide as well. I also made a couple of corrections uh, that were upstairs in the guide here uh, further on. So um, the guides are being updated very quickly here um, over the last few days. I finally got to them. On the G1000 guide, people were complaining pages 13 and 14 were the same. Uh, they are actually, I guess it would be 14 and 15 here. Um, they are, that has been corrected. Um, I have been able to uh, catch that and change it. I'm adding now VOR navigation to it as well. Again, adding a VOR location to the flight plan, flying direct, um, and then um, using again a VOR station to essentially land the aircraft. So um, lots of information there. Um, let me know what you guys think down in the description below. If there's anything else that I could, you'd like to see uh, guide created on, please feel free to shoot that out to me. If there's a specific aircraft that you're struggling with, you can't find documentation on, let me know what you guys are interested in. You know, I do this for you guys at this point. So um, trust me, again, it's a ton of hours and, and I don't want to see those hours go to waste. So uh, let me know what you guys are interested in. I'll be happy to start working on things like that. Um, but uh, that's all I've got for you today as far as the guides. I hope you guys enjoy these. I hope you found them valuable. Um, all the feedback that I've received over the last few months since I started this has been absolutely fantastic. One or two negative comments, but nothing that was, uh, you know, shooting me down or anything. Just some effective criticism, which I don't have a problem with again. So thank you guys all for the continued support. It means the world to me. Um, and once again, to everyone for April, I'm sorry for letting you down. I dropped the ball this month, um, and I will make sure that we have updates the first week of May. That is that is a promise. Hell or high water, I will make sure they are there for the first week of May. Um, and uh, as far as the TBM 930 and the A320 guide, those guides are live now as we speak. Um, so, uh, And then I'll have the G1000 update done uh, before the end of this evening. So by tomorrow morning, the G1000 guide will be live as well. All right. Well, guys, I hope you're all doing absolutely fantastic. Thank you for the continued support again. Please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. It really does make a huge difference in our lives as YouTube content creators. Um, and trust me, your, your subscriptions are more than appreciated. You just can't imagine what it does for us based on YouTube and how the algorithms works. It really does make a difference. We're not just saying that. So thank you to all who have uh, subscribed and uh, for the continued support. Take care, folks.